Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Gas prices are spiking across the U.S., but did you know Nevada currently has the second highest price in the nation? Review Journal's Jen Ah explains why. Jen? That's right, Renee. This is what we're dealing with. Gas prices at $4.78 a gallon on average here in Las Vegas. Now here's a map. States in red have higher gas prices and blue have lower prices, with purple in between. Nevada's tied with Hawaii for second most expensive gas. Only California has higher prices at over five bucks a gallon. Why? Apparently oil refineries in the West Coast are Russia's best U.S. customers. Well, most of that's tied to our dependence on California refineries. Uh, so bringing that oil in from them. Nevada also has the sixth highest gas tax in the country at 68 cents per gallon, which goes towards the RTC and road work. You know, we're paying at the pump, but it's paying off for us and keeping our roads in shape. Petroleum analysts say Nevada drivers aren't going to get relief at the pump anytime soon, as fuel prices normally rise in the spring and summer with more Americans on vacation. Renee? And more news authorities say the motorist who caused the North Las Vegas crash that killed eight people and himself was going 103 miles per hour. A newly released police report says the driver, Gary Dean Robinson, had accelerated from the speed of 90 miles per hour just seconds before the collision. The crash occurred in late January at Cheyenne Avenue in Commerce Street. Robinson and his passenger collided with a minivan with seven members of the same family. The toxology test from Robinson is still pending. Meanwhile, a crash in central Las Vegas left one person dead. It happened just after 2 p.m. Wednesday on South Jones Boulevard near Twain Avenue. Three people were taken to University Medical Center where one was pronounced dead. Two suffered minor injuries. And as of Thursday morning, a GoFundMe for the Henderson teen fatally struck by a vehicle has raised more than $40,000. The original goal for 13-year-old Rex Pachette's fundraiser was $20,000. That has been raised to $75,000, which organizers say will help Pachette's family with funeral expenses and past medical bills. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Lady Rebels are going dancing. UNLV is headed to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 20 years after beating Colorado State 75 to 65 in the Mountain West Conference Championship. Junior guard Essence Booker led the team with 25 points and earned herself the tournament MVP award. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't strive for you know getting tournament MVP um, coming into the tournament. I was just trying to win and I wanted to win with this group. So I felt like Lindy kept emphasizing that we have to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to win. All week long, head coach Lindy LaRock spoke about her team's desire to cut down the nets and the moment was more than she could have ever imagined. I've cut a few nets in my day, um, but this one means a lot, if not the most. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are minus 215 favorites over the Sabres today at Caesar Sportsbook in Vegas center Jack Eichel's return to Buffalo. The team that drafted him second overall in 2015 and traded him to the Knights in November. Vegas is plus 115 on the minus one and a half puck line and the total is six. The Knights are the 12 to one sixth choice at the Westgate Superbook to win the Stanley Cup behind Colorado, Tampa Bay, Florida, Carolina and Toronto. Now for today's weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. A slight chance of rain in the morning and breezy conditions are cooling us back down in the Las Vegas Valley today. Mostly sunny skies with a high of only topping around 59 degrees. Wind gusts could reach up to 39 miles per hour in some parts of the valley today. Tonight, winds dying down just a bit, lows around 38 degrees. For the rest of the week, winds will settle down and temperatures will begin to rise again. 65 degrees by Friday, mid-70s by Sunday. Even Evening lows will stay in the mid to upper 40s. We could see 80 degrees next week. 
Now in your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, we're getting another look at the Fountain Blue in Las Vegas, one of the latest resorts coming to the Strip. The 67-story hotel casino is under construction now, and renderings show us the upscale ballroom, guest rooms, pool, and event venue. A press release said the Fountain Blue will also feature, quote, advanced digital amenities and next-level audio and visual tools. The North Strip Resort that was long stalled is now starting to take shape. We can expect its debut in the fourth quarter of 2023. And in your health news, getting breakfast has never been so much fun. Yeah, it was actually really fun. The celebration of National School Breakfast Week, students at Theria Elementary School were able to blend their own smoothies by pedaling a bike. And that's not the only thing the Clark County School District is doing to support students. The CCSD Food Service um, just made breakfast free for all students because we feel it's so important that students get a good breakfast um, to start their school day. Um, because it helps them achieve, it helps them have better concentration, um, perform better in sports. Raiders mascot Raider Rush also attended Wednesday's event. Now to your lifestyle news. This weekend, the 2022 USL season starts for the Lights FC, and the team is offering something new. The fans can pre-register to be able to drive their vehicles onto the pitch and watch right there on the sidelines. Park and watch tickets are $50 per spot. The team's owner and CEO described these as, quote, the most COVID compliant seats in the history of sports. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Brad Paisley is back in Las Vegas with special guests at his upcoming show. Review Journal's John Katzlamides tells us more. It's going to be a big weekend for country superstar Brad Paisley in Las Vegas this weekend. He's headlining the Encore Theatre at Wynn Las Vegas on Friday and Saturday night. Paisley's also honoring the five millionth couple to sign up for a marriage certificate in Las Vegas history. That was last month. The groom wore a Brad Paisley concert t-shirt to the ceremony. So we're going to see them on Saturday night. Paisley also talks about what it's like to play an all acoustic set and even touches on his first and second vehicles he ever owned. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.